him. Right? All right, come on. Verse 23. And the city had no need of the sun, oh. neither of the moon, mm. to shine in. For the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the Lamb is the light. Oh, and also Isaiah 24 23, oh. Isaiah 60 and 19 say the same thing okay. that there'll be no sun and moon governing using as light. Because for one thing, it's everlasting, so ain't no need checking your watch because the moon rules for 12 hours, right. the sun rules for 12. Right. And the kingdom is everlasting, so when you got to be at what time? Right. right. Exactly. Finish it, finish it. Oh, verse 10. Finish it all the way out. Yeah. Verse 24. And the nations of them which are saved uh-huh. shall walk in the light of that. Let you know the other nations outside children of Israel, the ones that are deemed saved and not punished by the lake of fire, uh-huh. they don't have to serve the Lord. Mm-hmm. They don't have to walk in the light. Who is the light? It's Christ. Mm-hmm. So no freedom of religion. No, ain't no democracy going on. <laughs> none of that. You know, you know, everybody has their own God. Not in Christ's kingdom. Right. There ain't none of that going on. Either you're going to get down or you're going to lay down. You try it if you want to. That's what it means. Right. Come on. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night left. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. So they got to come and bring gifts and riches and all that to the king. Right. Mm-hmm. And all that respect yeah, and understand. Yeah. We, we acknowledge y'all is. Yeah. Y'all it. That's y'all the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Think we serve y'all Lord. Ain't no need no big bulls sitting by the gate. <laughs> Get down the way now. Verse 27. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defiles. Nope. Neither whatsoever worketh abomination. Right out, so it won't be a wicked toenail in the kingdom. That's right. <laughs> no, nothing that worketh abomination. Anything that the Lord deemed as abominable will not be, be in the kingdom. Right. Period, point blank in the story. Get out your feelings. Yeah. They ain't about that. We in kingdom mode down there. We're going to be prepping for the kingdom. That's right. What it say? What it say? Go ahead and say. What it say? What it say? Before the slave. Yeah, Christ said, look, those that don't want me to rule over them, the order will be given to put you to the sport. That don't that, that don't sound like this guy here do. That don't sound like him. That ain't him talking. That's what that's the Messiah that the Bible talk about. Alright? A lot of lies been spread about him, his message, his people, and all that. We coming to settle the record, the record straight. Alright, one more scripture. Y'all start okay. finishing this up. Or make it the lie. But they which are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Mm-hmm. Zechariah, y'all. Zechariah 14. Verse 16 on out. It's going to tell you about when Christ set up his kingdom. Hey, the mother nations don't come and holler. It's going to be a problem. And he said they're going to have to come up and keep the Feast of Tabernacles. Not the Feast of Easter egg dying and uh, egg all drinking and mistletoeing. <laughs> that ain't fine with any scripture. Now that's fine. And when we read this Zechariah, y'all read 1 through 4 as well. We're going to skip down, but verse 4 of this Zechariah 14 talks about when Christ comes in his second coming, his feet going to stand on the Mount of Olives. Just like the angel told the disciple in Acts 1, why are you standing here gazing? The same way he left, he's coming back to the same spot. And they were out on the Mount of Olives. He was saying where he left from, he's coming right back to the same spot. That's why you got a lot of people over there now trying to buy property on the Mount of Olives. Right? You're hearing people on the Mount of Olives. <laughs> yeah, I hear right. you. When, when, when they wake up, when they wake up, you see who's standing there. Right. With them, with them, uh, with them burnt feet as if they burnt in a fire. Mm. Right. Who is this? this right. Uh, right. Say what? Yeah. They grow the they stole the throne of God. Jacob's Zechariah right. right. 14. Verse 14. Verse 14 Jacob. on out. And this kind of going to that Joel 2 we was reading. These people that's going to be fighting with Christ in that day. In that day, though. Ain't no long go out here and go be trying to kill no police. Because <laughs> he caught you uh, running the stop sign. Because uh, you got a whole bunch of uh, warrants or something. In that day, if Christ deemed you worthy to execute that business, and make sure it is. If you really want to be found worthy on that, 
I mean, we can't keep a little minor quarrel from that. That's right. right. Like, you think you will be able to go execute some judgment and he even told you? Right. They go over there and lay that flat. Because they, 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 they different, big, boy. Yeah, yeah. They, big mom and them over there, Lord. They <laughs> 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 can get it all. All right, let's finish it out. Zechariah 14, verse 14 on out. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 16. First chapter 14. 14. And Judah also shall fight at Jerusalem. Read that. The tribe of Judah will bang at Jerusalem. You read that in Joel chapter 2. The gathering is elect. Judah going to get it on in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. All right. Yeah. And that day, though, right? Come on. And the wealth of all the heathen uh -huh. round about shall be gathered together. We just read that in Revelation 22. The nations which are saved might have to bring all that to the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Gold and silk uh -huh. and the power uh -huh. in great abundance. So we get our bling bling. It's just not in his righteous right, blame. Right. Not wickedness, not Lil Wayne or Gucci man. Right. <laughs> not that's, 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 that's wickedness. We're talking about righteous blame. All right, come on, Hebrew. And so shall be the plague of the heart, mm -hmm. of the mule, of the camel, and of the ass, and all the beasts that shall be in these tents as this plague. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king and the Lord of hosts right. and to keep the feast of tabernacles. So that's in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. See that? This, this feast that we supposed to be keeping in the September, early October. We in kingdom mode down here, y'all. You see that? They're going to have to come. All the heathens that are left after Christ bring the sword. You want to get down to the Lord? You better make your way on up here and keep this feast. All right? Come on. And it shall and it shall be that whoso will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. That's the punishment. You still got a choice in that day, right? Right. You want to serve the Lord? Serve the Lord. And if not, there will be no rain for you. All right? Come on, Hebrew. Verse 18. And if the family of Egypt go not up, and come not, that have no rain, there shall be the plague. Right. Well, it ain't going to stop at the rain. Right. Like, we just ain't going to rain. Right. You can get that off. I heard that. No, it's going to be forced to keep it. That's right. Well, when the Lord will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. That sounds serious. We need to yeah. because look, this hasn't been fulfilled yet. Right. Are we going to Jerusalem to keep the feast of tabernacles now? If those are the Jews, the children of Israel, set up in the land, and they king to set up, why we don't go up there and keep the feast? Right. Well, all nations ain't going. Right. Don't, don't, right. don't right. it rain in the murder? Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> the Old Testament not fulfilled yet. Uh, yeah. All right, come on. Verse 19. This shall be the punishment of each and the punishment of all nations that come not up to um, keep the Feast of Tabernacles. There we go right there. Nations. The Feast of Tabernacles. How many nations? Yeah, go ahead. All, all, all nations. All, all nations. nations. Not some. Right. That lets you know that you have to serve the Lord that day. How he say worship him and all that. If you want to be spurred. If you want into his kingdom. So why not start now? What are we waiting on? There's no time to doubt. Yeah, right. Who's waiting on? Like, dang, okay, if I don't do this, then I'm going to be put to the sword. We're being diplomatic now, we're talking about. You know that. Diplomacy is up in that day. You ain't getting down, you're going to lay down. Come on, Verse see. 1. In that day shall there be upon the bales of horses holiness unto the Lord, and the pots in the Lord's house shall be like the bowls before the altar. Yeah, every part of Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holiness unto the Lord of hosts. And all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and seize therein. And in that day there shall be no more the Canaanites uh -huh. in the house of the Lord uh -huh. of hosts. Wow. All right, John, when y'all get a chance, read John chapter 7. And it goes into how Christ kept that feast of tabernacles as well. Yeah. And at that feast, the, the, the people that didn't believe in him was trying to kill him. Mm -hmm. Straight up, trying to get up. 